In this video, we're going to look at the mole and Avogadro's constant. The mole is the amount of a chemical substance. Obviously, atoms are so small, they cannot be counted. So, we use the mole when we talk about amounts of a chemical substance. This is the definition of a mole. A mole of a substance has the same number of particles as 12 grams of carbon-12. The number of particles in a mole is equal to Avogadro's constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. As you can see, it's a very, very large number. So if you have a mole of a chemical substance, it contains this many particles. Next is molar mass. Molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of substance. The unit is grams per mole. It is calculated by adding up the masses of each atom in a compound. Let's look at an example. This is H2O, water. It contains hydrogen and oxygen. Here are the relative atomic masses here, 1.01 and 16.00. So we add up the uh, masses of all the atoms in the water molecule. We end up with 18.02 grams per mole. And this is the molar mass of water. Let's look at the mole equations. In these equations, n equals number of moles or amount. Small m is mass in grams. Big M is molar mass. So here's the first equation that you need to know. Number of moles is equal to mass in grams divided by molar mass. Once you know this equation, you can rearrange this equation to give you this one. This is mass in grams is equal to number of moles times molar mass. And this equation, molar mass is equal to mass in grams divided by number of moles.